It was a tense moment as Bukayo Saka stepped up to take the penalty against West Ham. The entire stadium held its breath as he struck the ball, but to the dismay of Arsenal fans, the ball missed the target. The disappointment is still palpable. Did we just watch the Premier League trophy slip away? Despite the frustration, Arsenal's manager Mikel Arteta remained steadfast in his belief in Saka's abilities as a penalty taker. However, this decision ignited a heated debate among football enthusiasts. Should other teams reconsider their penalty takers as well? Probably yes. Here are six clubs that should change their penalty taker. Starting with Liverpool. Mo Salah should be replaced by Trent Alexander-Arnold. Before you start throwing things at me, just hear me out. Yes, Mo Salah has a decent penalty taking record and has been pretty good at taking them. But he has missed a few crucial ones. Did you guys see the Bournemouth vs Liverpool match? Talk about a Sergio Ramos moment. Mo Salah missed a penalty and the look on his face was priceless. It was like he was trying to summon some kind of magical power to make the ball go in, but it just sailed wide of the goal. And let's face it, Trent's got a 100% record when it comes to penalties. The dude has taken four penalties and scored all of them. I know Salah's a great player, but if you can't handle the pressure when it really matters, then maybe it's time to give someone else a chance. Man, oh boy, we're back at it again like a yo-yo. Man, it seems like Arteta just isn't learning from his mistakes. After Bukayo Saka missed that crucial penalty against West Ham, you'd think that he would make some changes to the lineup, but nope, he's sticking with Saka as his prime penalty taker. I mean, come on, Arteta, for the love of all that is holy, just please make a change. Give someone else a chance to shine, like maybe Xhaka or Jorginho. They have a better track record when it comes to penalty kicks, so why not take advantage of their skills? It's like watching a bad movie over and over again. Jorginho's penalty technique may have been criticised in the past, but the guy knows how to get the job done. He's converted 16 out of his last 17 attempts, not including those in shootouts. That's like batting a 94% success rate. You gotta hand it to the guy, he sure knows how to thrill the keepers he faces in the future. Similarly, it looks like it's time for PSG to make this tough decision as well. As much as Mbappe is a national treasure and the French president's favourite player, we believe Neymar should replace him as their main penalty taker. Sure, Mbappe has a decent success rate, but Neymar has a career record of 74 scored to 15 missed. Plus, we all know Neymar loves a good dive, so he'll be extra motivated to earn those penalties. And let's be real, Mbappe needs to learn to share, especially when it comes to the ball. Maybe a bit of competition will do him good. So come on, PSG, make the right call. Plus, let's not forget last year's incident where Neymar dismissed Mbappe and kept the ball to take a penalty, which he also scored. It seems that Neymar is determined to take the reins as the top penalty taker at PSG. And who can blame him? Moving to Italy, it appears that Kvarat Schuyler's penalty taking skills are as shaky as his name. The Napoli defender has only converted 60% of his penalties, and former Napoli defender Maurizio Domizzi last year reiterated that it's time for a change. Enter Victor Osimhen, the striker who could be Napoli's penalty saviour. Domizzi could not understand why the Nigerian striker wasn't given 100% penalty duties. With a solid record and killer instincts in front of the goal, Osimhen seems like the obvious choice. It's time for Napoli to stop relying on Kvaric Skyler's hit-or-miss penalties and let Osimhen take the charge fully. But, well, it looks like Real Madrid also needs to hit the refresh button on their penalty takers. Karim Benzema last year broke La Liga's 93-year record. He missed his third penalty into the same goalkeeper, Sergio Herrera. It was like he was aiming for him. Well, Benzema's penalty taking skills are like a broken pencil. Absolutely pointless. Maybe it's time to pass the torch to someone else. Luka Modric seems to have a pretty good record with penalty shootouts. He's converted all three of his penalties in World Cup shootouts, taking down Denmark, Russia and even Brazil. But if they want someone with a flawless record, they should consider Tony Cruz. The guy is a penalty machine with a perfect 100% conversion rate. 
He has scored all five penalties he's taken in his professional career. Let's hope Real Madrid gets the memo and makes the change soon. Last one, we take it from Pep's tactical playbook. So, you know that Haaland is going all guns blazing. Yeah, well, turns out he's pretty deadly from the penalty spot too. He's already got 33 penalties under his belt, both for his clubs and for Norway. And he's only missed three in his whole career. Haaland, of course, sent his kick high against Bayern and also failed to find the target while playing with Borussia Dortmund against Augsburg back in January 2021. But he's a decent penalty taker. But get this, the City boss thinks their keeper, Edison, is actually the best penalty taker in the team. If Edison takes on the role of official penalty taker, it's a toss-up on whether he'll score or miss. And let's face it, if he does miss, the other team will have a smirk on their faces knowing what's about to happen. It's almost too tempting to resist. But hey, maybe that's the thrill we need in the game. Who needs Haaland when you have Emerson and a 50-50 chance of either team scoring the goal? So, it's time to change the penalty takers. Some clubs need to make a move and do it sooner than later, because missing from the spot can cost them dearly. Better find someone who can score it clearly. While you're at it, please like the video if it's informative. Also, subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss any videos that we post. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye.